Hey guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development and in today's video I'm going to be showing the difference between an anterior delt press versus a medial delt overhead press. So with this an important note to take forward is that they aren't working in isolation. Whenever we talk about bias we truly are talking about bias and not isolation because most of your body doesn't work in complete isolation whether there's going to be stabilizer muscles or just working two muscles at once whatever that looks like. So for this um, overhead press it's something that you can focus and have more of a bias on your anterior delt or you can have more of a focus on your medial delt um, and for those who might not know your anterior delt will also be referred to as your front delt so those can be interchangeable there so with Alex he's going to go ahead and throw the dumbbells up you'll see that his seat is a little bit more declined than it would be for a dumbbell overhead press and you'll see his elbows aren't as far out they're more in on his body so he'll go ahead and press up and show you what this movement looks like to be able to bias his anterior delt now if this were to even be a little bit lower and have um, a different incline here. He could even use this for more of a chest or more of a clavicular chest and anterior delt here, but I'm gonna go ahead and move the seat a little bit further up for him to do a dumbbell overhead press to focus on the medial delt. Um, so with this, you'll see there's a little bit more external rotation here as he goes ahead and presses up. They're very, very similar movements, but a little bit of different placement is going to change the bias that is being placed on the musculature there. So this is just something that you can take forward with in your training to know the slight differences and how you can bias different musculatures to make sure that you're hitting your goals.